It's not increasing very significantly uh, the complexity, it's increasing the volumes, but it's still about uh, producing the same planes than the one we are uh, producing today. As you remember, we want to reach the rate 65 uh, by mid of next year, and 65 is roughly what we were producing uh, when we were first hit by COVID uh, beginning of 2020. So 65 is something we have done in the past. We want to be doing again mid of uh, 2023. We have a very strong demand and therefore we have assessed the ability of the supply chain to continue to grow uh, beyond 65 and we will be adding 10 points uh, of production progressively till uh, 2025. So it's a matter of speed. The, the supply chain is capable of doing it. We have the demand for this, so we've decided to go. As you say, though, there are some significant risks to the supply chain. One of them is simply getting the materials that you need. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think you get around 50% of your titanium from Russia. Guillaume, are you comfortable with that? And if that was turned off overnight, do you have the supplies to keep going until you can find alternatives? The whole um, aviation is um, procuring titanium uh, for the planes, for uh, other um, aircraft, um, and mainly procuring from Russia. That's the historical situation we have. Um, we are protected on the short and midterm uh, by the inventories and the stocks that uh, we've had um, given the policy uh, that we've put in place in the last years. So we are protected on the short and the midterm, and on the more longer term, we are working to be able to uh, continue to operate. Uh, would we be in a different situation? So we feel like uh, we are protected on the short and the midterm by the, the stock and inventories, and on the more longer term by the actions we are taking. Uh, to be able right. to uh, move away from uh, this titanium, would we need to, to do this? How quickly is that going to happen? When are you going to find an alternative? When are you not going to be relying on Russia? Today, um, we have this inventory and stock policy uh, in place that gives us visibility, as I said, on the short and the midterm. In parallel, we are activating secondary sources that will be ready in case we have to rely on uh, non-Russian titanium exclusively. Uh, that's not the situation right. of the industry at the moment, uh, but that's something we are looking at for the future and we want to be able to continue to operate would we find ourselves in that situation. But, but are you, have you made an active decision that you are going to move Airbus away from relying on Russia? We have taken the decision to uh, develop the secondary sources to be able to, at a later stage, uh, potentially be independent from Russian titanium.